Uh, one, forgive me for this voice. This is um, slowly going away, but it's really annoying. A lady replied to me on my video about why I was bit, um, Romeo and Julia about how I, I just can't grasp the, the whole carry on about the horror of a black girl playing Julia. Um, she's replying from the US, I think. And I take her points that there is a whole history of systematic persecution and privilege there. And it's replicated to some extent here, but there is a difference. And there are slightly different paradigms over here. Uh, so I think if we're going to communicate, we're probably, uh, and not be at cross purposes, it's probably a good idea if people ex explain themselves to each other. Also, it helps if we do that because we end up with less of the, well, how am I going to put this? We have too far too many people running up and down YouTube, in my opinion, going on about horrid black people and, and silliness like that, instead of just trying to talk to other people like human beings. I'm going to share this for that lady's particular benefit, and if there's any other American viewers watching, so they can see that uh, this. This is the Northern Ireland Civil Rights Association from the late 60s. And if that if the lady is watching this, please forgive me while I have a drink of water before my throat just gives out. Don't ever clean out, use too so many chemicals as I did yesterday. Not a wise idea to do that much work with chemicals. Fortunately, it is wearing off. The Northern Ireland Civil Rights Association was founded at a public meeting in Belfast in January 1967. However, what I would say is it was formed as part of something that was um, had a much longer history behind it. And if people watching from America, I don't mind if you're from the black, the white, or any other community from America, want me to explain this history to some extent, or at least my perspective, because I'm only one person, I certainly will. A 13-member committee included representatives of the Dungannon-based Community for Social Justice, the Republican Clubs, the Northern Ireland Labour Party, the Ulster Liberal Party, the Communist Party of Ireland, and the Irish Congress of Trade Unions. Regarding NICRA as a rival, the Nationalist Party, in fact, actually declined to join, which is quite humorous, if you know a bit about Irish history. But let me have a look at the poster they put up. Northern Ireland Civil Rights Association calls everyone to march in Derry, Sunday, 8th of October, 1972, fight internment, special courts and military brutality. Now, if people wanted to, I could show them some really horrid stuff. Now, I don't know what how many of these photos up the side are going to be permissible. YouTube has quite draconian rules about what you can and can't show about violence. So I'll show, I'll click on them and we'll, we'll hope. Let's have a look what we got. We've got Nicra. We've got the first civil rights march in the North. Um, we've got that. We've got bloody Sunday where it ended with a large number of people shot by the army. We've got Motorman, where that ended with a load of people picked up and interned for, for a quite long time. You had ongoing issues like that, mass unemployment. This went on for years and years and years, gerrymandering where nationalists couldn't vote, where their votes were valued less, where it's difficult for them to get jobs and so on. This led to a situation when some Irish people came to Britain. I won't say all because there is a racist streak in some of, our, some of my Irish older relatives, and it is there. But I would say the more those with a wider mind saw that there was a common cause with people who were disenfranchised and understood that if you disenfranchise any group in a community, you're disenfranchising yourself in the end. The minute you disenfranchise one black person, you disenfranchise us yourself in the long run because we all live in a community. Oh, yes, that's someone's going to no doubt type underneath that's idealistic rubbish, but I'd rather try and believe in that than believe that we must all hate each other or that we must all snarl at each other. I'd rather believe that we can all try and work to get towards 
a fairer society, even if we take steps and fall over and make mistakes or miscommunicate, rather than have the conversation dominated by the kind of people who are popping up at the minute who really make my brain hurt when they go on about other human beings. They really hurt it. They dehumanise and degrade the value of humanity to me. If that lady would like to reply or would like me to enlarge on Irish history, I'm quite happy to go and do off a, a scripted talk on this whole thing and write down stuff and explore links between people like Frederick Douglass, people like Bernadette Devlin when she went to the US, contradictions where there was, as I say, also Irish racism towards black people, where groups decided to try and divide them and split them up in the US. I'd be interested to keep the topic going if anyone wants to hear more.